Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and being here. Oh my gosh. And Chai already wants to say hello. You're saying hello to everybody. You're saying, mom, who the heck are you talking to now? That isn't me. <laughs> I'm talking to my friends, darling. You're gonna say hello? You're gonna say hello to everybody? Instead of just showing them almost your bum hole? <laughs> <laughs> this is Chai, if you know. This is our big baby. Oh my God. No, he's not. He's 18 months tomorrow. Go and find daddy then. I thought I would film a pack with me because if you're anything like me, love a good organisation vlog um, and I class packing is getting organised. So I'm going to get organised. I'm going to show you all of the products we're taking, like most of my outfits. I'm not going to try them on, I don't think, but I will show you them so you can see what I've got. And then when I'm on holiday, I'll show you all of my outfits as always because I'm going to vlog the week away. So we are flying to Italy tomorrow morning. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait. I am so, so, so excited. Um, but yeah, oh, honestly, I feel very lucky that we're going on holiday and I'm so excited to be going. It's just me and Brad. I'm really looking forward to the quality time um, that we're going to spend together. Oh, I am going to vlog it because um, I love vlogging and I love watching back our holidays together. Um, so you'll be able to see what we get up to. If you want to, you can follow me on Instagram. It's bridie.tinklin. Um, I may post a photo here and there if you want to follow me anyway. And if you haven't already, please, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. It really supports me. And I'd love to know how many of you like stick around and come back. So thank you. But yeah, anyway, I digress. I thought I'd just show you what products I'm using, what I've got like plan to wear i've got all my evening outfits i've got my daytime outfits um i've got my shoes laid out my cardigans everything basically everything that we're taking all of the medicines all things that like die or like that gives you upset stomach like when you've got an upset stomach and all that jazz um i'm just going to show you i'm going to get organized with you organized for this holiday um i have left it a little bit last minute because we literally it's it's like five o'clock now but we have to leave at like 11 p.m. because we're flying from Gatwick, um, which is like a three and a half hour journey away from our house. Um, so we've got a long stint of a journey and then we don't fly until early hours in the morning, like six o'clock. But we want to be there like with plenty of time to spare because there's nothing worse than running through an airport. And I don't ever want to do that. I want to be able to sit down, have a coffee and maybe a gin it's five o'clock somewhere, have a gin and have some breakfast, some very early breakfast, <laughs> and then just be relaxed. Because as soon as your suitcase goes through like all of the weighing and all that, your holiday starts, that's it. And to be fair, I'm gonna feel like our holiday starts as soon as we get in the car. Our holiday's gonna start when we get in the car and we start journeying to Gatwick. Um, because we're gonna make the most of this, make the most of not getting any sleep, but it's so worth it. The bags will be worth it. So let's get into it. I will start with all of the products and everything first. I'm gonna miss you. Chai's having a lovely time. He's gonna go with his mama and granddad. So he's gonna literally be having the time of his life. He loves it with his mama and granddad. He's gonna come back about 15 stone heavier, but that is absolutely fine because they give you lots of treats, don't they? But as long as you're happy, I'm not bothered. Happy and healthy, okay? That's all that matters. Mm. Oh, this is great. <laughs> That's great. This is actually Chai's channel. I don't know if you knew. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna move you over here so I can show you. You're on a new stand, guys. Um, I bought it from Amazon. It's really good for your phone. Let me show you in the mirror. Can you see it? It's got little lights on it. I will link it down below if anybody wants it. It's good just for taking photos. It's got a little remote control in it as well. So you don't have to be too close. And I'm taking that. So that's one of the things that I'm taking on holiday. So that we can have a nice photo with views behind us. Um, and I'm not have to be like running back and forth with timer. I can just... Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway. So starting off with sun creams. I've been using the Pizbuin 
uh, moisturising sun lotion. But I have got, so I've got the moisturising sun lotion and then I've got some of the sun sensitive one. I didn't get any more of that. I really wanted some more, but I couldn't find any spray ones. So I just thought, we've got plenty. So just stick with what we've got. So I've got a few of the sun sensitive ones, which I get heat rash occasionally ac across my chest. I've always got it. Um, and I found that when I used the sun sensitive one, I didn't get it so whether it was just like a placebo or whether it actually did work and it smells nice i mean i hate sun cream it's literally one of the worst feelings in the world like it's just a sensation and the touch that i genuinely can't stand but i know the importance of it so i'll power through on Moving on from the Piz Booing, we've got some Garnier 50, which is also um, for sensitive skin. We've also got some Dermalogica 50, which is also for sensitive skin. We've got a little 50 block for then any like freckles or moles or anything we can just, because you have to be careful with your freckles and moles, guys. Uh, make sure you're putting extra on them. And when it comes to a stick, it's really handy because then throughout the day, you can just put your cream on and then ever so often just without having to feel like you've got to rub it everywhere so it's really nice and then for my face i like the la, Ro la roche posay and this is 50 and i just feel like i've had it before where i've been on holiday i've used the sun cream and then by the end of the holiday i've broke out in so many spots um whereas the last holiday we went on i used this and i didn't so it obviously did something Another thing to help my facial skin when I'm away is moving on to the face wash. I like the CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. So every evening when I'm in the shower, I really make sure I give my face a really good wash to get rid of any product. And this seems to do the job um, to get rid of all of the sun cream. For them body wash, I like the Sensitive Skin Sanex Zero. I'm sensitive to fragrance, um, so, and I don't want thrush, guys. So, <laughs> that's why I would go for that. <laughs> um, in terms of shampoo and conditioner, I've just got these, although, for weight-wise, I am thinking of just putting these back in the cupboard and buying some from Boots when we get through customs so that it doesn't weigh down our suitcase because we've not got loads of weight and I don't want to waste it on shampoo and conditioner when we can get it through um, through the custom bit. Does that make sense? Um, but if I do take this, this is what we've got. I need to weigh my suitcase first. After sun, I've got the aloe vera gel. This really suited, it's not the exact same one, but this really suited me last time. Um, and it doesn't feel sticky. Like, I mean, after sun isn't like sun cream, is it? It's not as sticky, but I just don't like the sensation of cream on my body. It's not something I like, but this dries really quick. It's not sticky, it's not tacky, and it suited me last time. So I'm just going to stick to what I know, and it worked. In terms of my face, I just bought some of this CeraVe moisturising cream. So I literally, after I've had a shower and I've washed my face, I'll put this straight on, and then I'll do my makeup. And then later on in the evening, when I took my makeup off, I then go in with a face wipe, guys, to take the rest of my makeup off, sorry. I know some people don't like face wipes and I know they're not that good for your skin. But you know when you've had a late night or you're just tired, face wipes, oh, they're good, aren't they? Not really, but they are. Um, but yeah, so then moving on to makeup. I'm sorry if I'm speaking really fast. I naturally do speak fast, but I also am aware that I don't want to bore you and like go into everything too, too much, even though that's exactly what I do. Moving on to makeup, I don't really wear loads and loads of makeup on holiday. I don't really like the feeling of it. I do wear it. I'm not like one of them girls that's like, I don't need makeup. I, I do. Um, but I don't really like wearing loads of make makeup on holiday. So what I take with me, let me get it. So let me go for my makeup first and then I'll show you that. So I literally, I always put powder on because I look like an oily, greasy mess and I need it. I then go in with a bit of bronzer, which is my Fenty Beauty. I then go in with some blush. I have took an eyebrow pencil, but I don't usually fill my eyebrows in on holiday because I can never be bothered. So I just go in with some brow gel, which is just clear, just to brush them up because I've tinted them. Um, and I just brush them up into position. And then a mascara. 
and these are the brushes that I use. And then I have bought some of the, it's new, it's the, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, Satchum, Satchum, um, Satchum Beauty, it's the lip liner stay, um, so basically it's a lip tint, um, and I've got two colours in it, but I packed them both, I thought I packed them both, but, oh it's there, it's fell out, so I've got two different colours in it, basically so that I don't have to reapply all the time, just because, I'm clearly like, quite a low maintenance lazy girl when it comes to hair and makeup <laughs> and I want it just to be straightforward put it on one and done go at the door um so yeah that is my makeup so after it obviously I've had a shower I've washed my face I'll put the CeraVe on um once I'm then back from my evening ignore my hair guys sorry I've just looked at what it looks like I do look a bit scruffy I am going in the shower after I film this because I'm going to get my holiday body exfoliated and hair washed ready for the airport. But I've filmed before just because I wanted to get filmed and packed because I was starting to panic. After I'm back from a night out or like an evening out, I then do use a face wipe. And then I go in with my Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which is from Kiehl's and then a little bit more CeraVe, so it's just extra moisture, just because I'm aware that your skin gets so dry on holiday. Okay, moving on to this section down here. Moving on to the next section, um, so medicine and all things. Um, so I've got my toothbrushes, we just use bamboo toothbrushes. Um, I've got one for me and Brad there. Then we've got some toothpaste. Moving on to medicine, I've got some allergy and hay fever relief tablets, just if my heat rash or we have an allergic reaction or anything flares up we've got it just in case um and then i've got diarrhea relief and some diorali which is like um replacement of lost water and body salt so if we eat anything that gives us an upset stomach we can hopefully rectify it and make ourselves feel better and um, hopefully we don't need it then i've also got some um plasters because you can never have enough and i can guarantee you something will rub my feet I've also got some after buy because I don't know if um, Italy suffers with loads of mosquitoes, but just in case, just in case the little things want to nibble on us, we've got some after buy just to soothe us a little bit. Then I've got some hair clips just because I need something to take my hair out of my face and then I will be taking a bobble, but that will probably be around my wrist all the time if I haven't got my hair up. Okay, and then I did pack some eyelashes don't know if I'm going to use them, might not, but they're there if I do. Then I bought some tan packs and some pads just because I am due on my period like the last day of the holiday. So I might not come on, but if I do, I want to be prepared and I've got them there. They're not my usual pads that I use actually, but they're the only ones I've got in the cupboard right now and they're just going to have to do. <laughs> um, but yes. Okay, sorry if the lighting wasn't that good then. It's just the way the window is. When you're against the window, it's not as bright. So now I'll show you what I'm packing for evening clothes. So this isn't set in stone, but I've just laid outfits out. So I got some shorts, which I thought was really cute. These are the brand Weekday and they're from ASOS. Um, so they're there. Then I got this top from ASOS, which is super cute. And I thought they would look pretty nice together. Another evening outfit is this dress from Boohoo. I don't usually shop on Boohoo, but when I saw, what was her name? Sarah Holder, is it on Instagram? Sorry if I've got that wrong. Um, she was wearing the pink one. And oh my God, she looked stunning. I mean, I am not a model, so it's going to look different on me to how it looks on her. But it I, I still loved it. So it's basically a long maxi dress that is very see-through and it's got an open back and then kind of like flare arms but I loved it. The only thing is obviously you need to wear pants and a bra because otherwise you're a little bit too exposed. So I bought Sorry, because you're a little bit exposed in that, I bought from Amazon this stick-on bra to go underneath it and then these little shorts to go underneath it. So I do literally look like I am a little bit naked underneath it, but I'm not. 
and also you can't see anything so I'm, people can just think i'm naked i'm not though so i'm covering everything up it's all that matters <laughs> but okay next was this gorgeous dress from zara i don't usually wear anything like this but i honestly i think it's beautiful so this one's from zara um oh my gosh look at it stunning can't wait to wear that so there's three outfits four outfits is this blue dress again something different for me i don't usually wear stuff like this on holiday not for years anyway um but just this mini blue dress and i thought you know what i'm going to italy i'm doing it <laughs> so there's another dress another evening dress is from um zara and it's this little one i think it's so cute oh my gosh i bought that when we went to liverpool i did vlog it um but yeah so i've got that one for an evening outfit another evening outfit i think is this dress i got from primark last year i believe so i don't think you'll be able to find it unless they've bought it back this year but i thought i don't know not does it not just scream like italy silky flowery I just thought, yeah, imagine drinking at a Pro Spritz in this. I can just see it. So I was like, that's it, I'm taking it. So there's another evening, and that's what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then another evening is literally this purple version of that. I might not wear this because I have got a few more options, but I wanted to take it just in case. So literally that, oh my God, it's stunning. I love it and the back's cut out again and it's long again but I thought I'm going to take it and if I don't wear it I don't wear it I, I know I'm going to wear it at some point in the holiday or a holiday or just in England um but I wanted to, to take it okay moving on to day outfits which could also be night outfits but I just wanted to have enough for each day because it's like a exploratory holiday we might not be at the beach all day so I can't just rely on like the same shorts for the whole week I, well I could but I wanted to just feel a bit more dressy because it's Italy. Did I mention where we're going? We're going to Sorrento. We're staying in Sorrento and then we're like around the Amalfi Coast. So we're going to be going to Positano. We're going to be going to Capri. Oh, it's music to my ears. Okay. An outfit from Zara is these little shorts and top set. So little crop top so cute that opens up there and then it's got matching shorts i love it so there's a day outfit another day outfit is this dress from primark which is a midi dress um just a little bit i like it i think it's really nice i mean i'm hoping i'm not too hot in a midi dress um but i should be fine it's slinky it's but yeah i've got that one for another day dress um options for day dresses are these ones that i've took on holiday before i do love them and i think i love the color i think it's just vibrant this one's from asos but i did get this one last year or the year before so i don't know if it'll still be for sale and then this is the same this one's from asos but again i got this um a couple year ago so i don't know if they'll still be selling it they did do it in other color, um, colours, so maybe they're doing it in different colours, or maybe they do have it. Um, so there's that. Another outfit is these shorts, good old classic shorts, with this bandeau top, which is from ASOS as well. Them shorts are from ASOS, but they're the Topshop brand. Both the, the shorts and the top are from Topshop. Another outfit I've got, this is from ASOS again. Basically, all of this wardrobe is from ASOS, Zara or Primark um is this midi or yeah maxi this maxi striped orange and pink dress i just thought i love the colors i love orange and pink together i thought it looked really cool and i thought it would be perfect for italy again imagine drinking a glass of april spritz oh it just makes it taste nicer wearing a nice dress <laughs> that's probably just me okay another outfit are these blue shorts from zara 
thought they was really nice. Brad actually picked them out. And then this little bandeau top, which is from Pull and Bear. I got this the beginning of the year, so they should still have it. The uh, little Pull and, Pull and Bear bandeau, and I thought that would look nice with them. Another outfit, this is from Boo Hill. It's a similar dress to these two, except it isn't long sleeved. So I thought this would be perfect for a daytime. Um, it isn't long sleeved, it's strappy, and it's quite low cut at the back. But it, it is a maxi dress, but because it's very holy, it's crochet, um, I don't feel like I'll feel too hot in it um, because I think it'll be very breezy and i just think does that like yellow italy i just think it just i like the thought of having some colors and i'm sometimes quite a creamy beigey wear black kind of girl um but when i'm on holiday i thought especially this time i wanted to go for a little bit more color brighten up my summer wardrobe so i feel a little bit different on holiday i want to feel good i want to feel like i look nice and feel nice um so i thought i'm going to try some different outfits i'm going to treat myself a little bit because i don't often go clothes shopping believe it or not and um, so for this holiday i have i have treated myself to a few bits but these will be like things that i wear on a lot of holidays now um but yeah lastly i have got some where are these from i got these from asos some linen shorts I haven't got exactly got a top to wear with them, I don't think. I might, I could wear this with them. That would look quite nice. Or the bandeau one. But just some lovely linen shorts. They're very comfy as well. Um, so I got them. And then from Primark, I got this linen top. Obviously, I wouldn't wear all these together because it's a bit too much linen. Um, but I've got this linen top. The only problem is that it's a little bit see-through and I don't love wearing bras, especially on holiday. So it might be something that I'll just wear at the beach. Otherwise, it is going to be hashtag free the nip. Um, and normally I won't be bothered. But if something's a little bit see-through, at one time I would not be bothered. I'd be like, it's just the nipple. And I'm still like that. I'm still hashtag free the nip. Don't matter. It's just a nipple. We've all got them. Men's are just pointless. But I just think I'm a bit grown up now. I've grown a bit. Not My boobs haven't. I mean me as a person. Um, and I think maybe I'd like to be a little bit more conservative. Not much more because I'm still not going to wear a bra. So maybe I'd just wear that at the beach. <laughs> don't know well, maybe i won't maybe i won't care and then i got these linen trousers these are from primark as well and i wore them for my sister's baby shower which was last week's vlog and honestly love them they're so nice they're so comfortable um so i'm really happy with them moving on to jackets that i'm taking i got this beautiful cardigan from zara <gasps> look at it oh I'm a cardigan girl so this is going to be gorgeous because even though I'm going to Italy I can assure you in the evenings I will be cold I'm very nesh so I always take out a jacket nine times out of ten I will take out a jacket oh, my legs going stiff oh. next for another jacket well it's not really a jacket it's a shirt I just got this linen shirt from Primark a beigey one that I thought I'd wear open on top of things. And then another shirt that I got is from ASOS. Um, and it's just a white one, a little bit translucent. And I thought that would be lovely over most of these outfits. So I've got either a cardigan or two shirts. So that's plenty of options. because um, And they will go with all of them, which is really nice. Everything will match. Next thing I'm going to pack is some pyjama bottoms. You might, I might not need them, but in an evening when I'm getting ready and before I've got dressed, I like to be comfortable. Um, so I'm going to take some of my like, they're new, these are from Primark, not, not too long ago. Um, but they're just silky, well they're not actually silky, they're just, but they feel very, they're very soft. Um, so I'm going to take them to put on, and if I get cold in an evening, I can put them on. And then just a little crop top, 
you know me i love a crop top just the comfortable i love being comfortable so i'm going to take them for the evening shoes wise i have bought some of these um birkenstock boston mules and these are in the shade khaki you can't really see too much i don't think oh there you can you can see it's a little khaki from the bottom but these are gorgeous i love them <laughs> And I've wanted them for ages, and I finally found a pair. Um, so all these, although these are the narrow foot, and I really wanted just the regular, but um, I had to get the narrow ones. Actually, I didn't actually know they was narrow. Got from them from JD Sports, um, and they just came as narrow. I thought they'd just come as regular, but they don't. They come as narrow. Um, so I would have preferred regular, but they still fit me. So I love them. Um, my next pair of shoes that I got are these Doc Martin sandals. Oh my gosh. I love them. I think these could be my all-time favourite sandals that I've ever had. Absolutely love them. I think they're beautiful. I love that they're quite chunky. I know that they're going to last me because my friends got a pair and they've lasted it for ages and still in brilliant condition. Um, so I think... And I think I might travel these in the, into the airport because they're the heaviest shoes I'm taking. I am taking another pair of Birkenstock sandals. Um, they're just what I wear all the time. You've probably seen me in them. They're downstairs though, so I need to get them. Um, but yeah, that is it for shoes. I'm literally taking the Birkenstocks, them and them. I don't think I need anything else. Realistically, I don't need more shoes than that. I'm... And I've started getting less, even though this says opposite. I remember at one time I used to take loads of shoes on holiday and then I'd stick to wearing the same like two. And I think, why have I bought all of these shoes when I don't wear them? So this is why as well, I've counted my outfits to make sure I'm not overpacking. Oh yeah, I forgot the main thing that I need as well. Bikinis. I have packed four bikinis. This green one, this lovely, um, this one, they're both from pretty little thing and then I did get two new black ones I got this little black one from ASOS there's the top the crinkly and then there's the bottom it's like a thong one but it pulls out so it's not as cheeky as it looks even though it is cheeky but I like a cheeky bikini then I got this little bikini top to go with this bikini bottom that's got like a little angle in the front can you see that it's like arrow i like it so yeah just four bikinis because again i used to go through a stage where i took like a bikini each day and then i think to myself you feel most confident in that one bikini why are you wearing all these other bikinis if you don't really feel confident in it so i'm taking the bikinis that i feel comfortable in that i feel confident in I'm not forcing myself to wear anything that I did not feel comfortable in. And lastly, items of clothing is, of course, my underwear. I won't go into too much detail, um, but I did buy some new underwear from Primark. I just bought these seamless thongs. This is like a nice purpley blue. It came in pink and then it came in a different, different colour, which I can't see. Where? Oh, it's here. It came in a yellow. Then I bought these ones, which are lace at the back. That comes in a bluey green, a darker blue, and white. And then I got some just some good old black thongs. Because honestly, I had some of these from Amazon a few years ago, and it was the comfiest things. And then when I saw that Primark was doing like the same thing, I was like, oh my god, pants. Um, and then I've just took some other pants just in case I do come on my period. You know, girls, we've got certain pants that we wear, don't we? Certain ones that you feel comfortable in. <laughs> um, touch what I don't, but we'll see. And then lastly is this bag. This one's from Primark, and I thought this would be nice. Put a towel in, um, some cream, and my phone, and then that's it. And we can walk around. If we want to go to the beach, we can. If we don't, we don't. Um, and then other than that, I'm going to pack my hand luggage. So yeah, let's get all of this in the suitcase and see how much it weighs. <laughs> Just a reminder, make sure when you pack in all of your creams and everything, you put them in a waterproof bag. 
because the last thing you want is something popping from the pressure on the aeroplane or getting squished and then getting to on holiday to realise all of your holiday clothes are covered in sun cream because that would be heartbreaking. <laughs> Genuinely. Because I've got there before where, and it's leaked in here and I was so grateful. And if we haven't got one of these, just literally put it in like a poo bag or a plastic bag. Just make sure it's in something because the last thing you want, like I said, is it leaking everywhere. 